What's up everyone, welcome back to another video and this video I'm going to talk about how to fix Windows 11 update KB5062600 error. Your device is missing important security. That is happening for many users. So let me directly get into a step. First one, we need to pause and restart the update. So just go over here, search for the settings, click on the settings, navigate to Windows update. Just make sure the Windows, if it is already there you have to just pause it for a week or two then try updating and you have to check with that that might work in some cases or we have to move to the next step that is all about we need to start app readiness service to do so just go over here search for the services and right now once you get into this we can see there is an option called app readiness service so right click on this one go to the properties make sure it is automatic if it is stopped we have to start it and once you start it, just go for OK and right click on it once again, go to the properties, sorry, just go over here, right click on this one, go for restart and make sure it is completely start and it is running, then you have to check. Next one, we need to run the update troubleshooter. To do so, just go over here, search for the settings, click on the settings. Now from here, we need to navigate to system, scroll down and navigate to troubleshoot. There is an option called other troubleshoots. Now from here we have to click on run so that the windows troubleshoot will be running over here like this. So we need to do, this is actually the window itself is going to do a troubleshoot. So we just need to expand this. Then once you get this particular message, you'll be getting a separate box like this. They might be asking two questions, what is your actual issue? For many users, they can't download, install or uninstall an update. But for some users they are having this one but for me i'm having the trouble with i'm not able to download install or either i'm not able to update it so i have to select this one now once you select this one you have to let windows do itself try to fix it they might be fixing so just click on yes so it will be taking a little bit of time what happens is window is going through it itself in order to fix the issue so once you get you can check this out it might work in some cases so hence it is going to take a lot of time. Let me skip this and move to the next step. Next step is all about, we just need to use the Windows 11 installation assistant. So I'll be providing a link in the description to the Windows 11 installation assistant over here like this. You can go to this particular page. Now from here you can download Windows 11 installation assistant. You can download this one. You can download and install it and you can update a Windows and you have to check. Next one, we need to use the Microsoft update catalog. So I have given a link in the description that's going to take you to the Microsoft update catalog. So over here we need this particular model that we need the KB number. So you have to copy this particular number. Now or you can type KB50. You can just go to this particular link. Now type KB506. So this is the issue we are having. So just type this particular number. Go for search. Now what happens is you have to type KB5062260. You have to just search it or make sure that this is correct. So let me copy this and I have to paste it over here. I think I made some mistakes. So let me go. So KB5062260. This is the issue we are having right now, the error code. So just type this and you'll be getting this option. One is for x64 based one and the one is for this one. So you have to download this particular version over here. Now that will be taking you to another page. Now from here, you have to download this particular version. Keep in mind, this will be having a little bit of size because it comes around, I think it is around uh, 509 MB. So just wait for this completely download and you have to run it on your system and you have to check. Next one is all about, we need to reset the Windows update components. So first we need to copy these things. Keep on copying this. Now we have to copy these on these commands. These are the commands. So we have to copy this. Now go over here in the desktop, right click and go to show more option. Go to new, create a test document. Now get into this. Now we have to save these command. Save these command and go to the file. Go to save as. Now we need to type this or save it as wufix, wufi.x.bat should be saving in wufix.bat. Now change into all files and go for save and make sure that you save this on the desktop. As you can see, it is already saved on the desktop. Now we need to run it as an administrator. So what happens is every single 
commands that we have copied they will be running one by one so this entire process is going to take a lot of time hardly 10 to 20 minutes for some users it was between 10 to 20 minutes for some it is was around 20 to 15 25 minutes so you need to wait patiently for this to get completely done once afterwards you have to do a restart after this commands are successfully done on your system you have to do a restart and you have to check next up is all about we need to use option fixing pr problem over here so just go over here search for the settings click on the settings navigate to system scroll down and navigate to recovery there is an option over here in the recovery we have an option called we have if you check over here you can see this is the fix problem using windows update so just click on reinstall lab so the windows will be reinstalled back but you will not be losing any apps files or settings everything will be preserved and will not be having issue and you have to check with it last and the least of is all about we need to use the media creation tool so also i'll be providing a link in the description to the media creation tool from here if you scroll down you can see we have uh, the windows 11 installation media now download this and install the windows and you have to check so these are the steps so i hope this could be very helpful and that's all when it comes to how to fix this see you soon next video bye